Look at us. Hello. Look Hi. at us. I'm so happy that you're here. Now, Anya, I've got to talk to you. You made your... I think I'm right in saying this. Your late night... Your first ever late night talk yeah. show appearance was here just before lockdown. And yes. I feel like... Of anybody that I know or have met, you have had the most extraordinary past 18 months. <laughs> it's been unbelievable what's happened to you. Have you been able to process everything that's happened in your life in the past sort of two years? Uh, no. Really? Really, really no. I mean, my reaction has been to just keep working because sure. then I don't really have to think about it as much. Um, but I'm looking forward to Christmas because I think I need to sit myself down and, and figure out, yeah, what, what's going on. And so that was your first late night talk show. Ben, you were our first ever guest when we did our test, test pilot show. I was the first ever person you show. talked to. I yeah. know. You were a little child. You were a little baby. Well, we don't need to be mean. Oh, no, no, no. He was a child. He was a baby. <laughs> Can we say this? I thought this was extraordinary. I've never seen this before. May I? Yeah. Her boots are a part of her outfit. It's like oh, a it's sensational. Oh. I thought that was so cool. I've never seen that before. I'm, it's absolutely... You yeah. designed this yourself, right? Uh, a wonderful designer called Richard Quinn let me kind of help a just little bit. Just put some jazz in just, there. Just, oh, yeah. just ideas, but he's, he's lovely. I don't know if I want to be joined to the show. I'm very streamlined. I'm very aerodynamic right mm -hmm. now. I kind of like that. You put it on like a onesie, right? Yeah, just yeah. Shim, shim. So, uh, yeah, th I don't know if I want to be joined to the shoe. I don't. <laughs> You've got to try it at least once. Man. I'll try You've it once. Try it I'll, I know I will. Have you done it? Have you done it? Have oh, you joined? yeah, all the time. I throw around onesies all the time. I have a Cookie Monster onesie that to I wear. To be clear, you know. like, I think you're making a big leap between what Anya's wearing and your Cookie Monster <laughs> onesie. To be fair, I, think... I did just buy a Tigger onesie, and it's the greatest thing of Fantastic. all time. Fantastic. Thank Love you very it. much. We'll talk fashion while you're over there. <laughs> Fashion. Fashion. Now, let's talk in all, fashion in all seriousness, with Ben though. Schwartz. Go on, do it. <laughs> oh, please. What is it? Well, yeah, let's talk about Air Jordans and hoodies. Let's do it. All right, yeah. let's talk about fashion. <laughs> you get your threes, you get your black cement threes on, you get a nice loose pan. Thank you very much. I don't understand anything. Me neither. We'll talk fashion, <laughs> and he can talk about whatever kind of basketball knockoffs he's talking mm -hmm. about. Sure. Mm -hmm. I was one of your first guests. Is that what you asked? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Although I do want to talk to you about this because I'm a little worried about you. I am. You've been struggling with insomnia. Oh, I have. I don't sleep very well. You're working quite a bit right now. Do you have trouble sleeping when you're going from city to city and stuff? I haven't slept since I was seven. See? Yeah. Do you really? You struggle with insomnia too? Yeah, I taught... I mean, this, is, this isn't that funny. This is more creepy. I taught myself not to sleep because I saw my parents go to sleep and it really freaked me out. I was like, where are they going? I can't go there, so I'm going to stay and watch until they come back. Wow, you were like... So you had Billie Eilish's album in your mind before she even <laughs> wrote the song. Wow. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. You saw your parents go to sleep. Yeah. And then when they closed the door, you're like, I don't know where they are. No, 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 no. Like, I was still little enough that they'd let me fall asleep in the bed with them. Oh. But I'd just be like, they're not there anymore. And when I close my eyes, I don't go where they're going. So I'm just going to wait. I get it. It's terrifying. I'm never going to sleep But wait, again. you're not sleeping. Talk to me about that. Yeah, I'm talk... not sleeping, but you're I found an sleeping. app. I found an app. I found an app that, like, plays rain in the background. Do you guys ever do that? I, I'm aware of this app, yes. And it slowly helps me go to sleep. But then I was just filming in Vancouver where it rains all the time. Oh, no. And I would fall asleep while driving and be like, oh, my God, it's so nice. <laughs> and slowly, like, go to... And today it rained in L.A., so it was a mess getting here. I yeah. was just, like, falling asleep everywhere. That rain thing doesn't work for me. I tried that. It doesn't work. You've got to listen to the whales. I'm sorry? The whales are great. Oh, there's a sound for the yeah, whales? Yeah, there's, like... I mean, I'm not going to do it. No. But, like, <laughs> no, go on. Please. No, go on. Go it's on. Just, it's just... They, they sound like prehistoric creatures in the... the water. It's beautiful. What are they Listen saying? To the do, what do you think they're... If you, you type into YouTube, like, whale spa music, it comes up, OK? Right. Whale okay. spa music. Yes. And it's like... Oh. Is that right? That's good. Let me hear it. Oh. <laughs> Could you go to sleep if we did this, like, for... Oh. Hang on. I yes. keep going. Yes, please. I'd buy the... Oh, very good. I That's like it. it. And that'll wake you up. <laughs> uh, Anya, I learned today that you grew up with a fascination with a particular animal. Yeah. And I say fascination, it is quite the fascination. It's a little unusual. Tell us all about this. I'm going to come off so weird on your show. No, and for that, I apologise, no, but not. it's the truth. Um, yeah, I was very lucky to grow up with... Horses and dogs oh. and kittens, but I loved anything that came out of an egg. 
Mm. I loved it. I loved chickens. I loved ducklings. And all I wanted as a kid was an incubator, but my parents wouldn't give me one because I was five. And that makes sense. Yeah. But I decided that another way to incubate eggs was just to steal them from the kitchen and keep them close to me in a pouch. And so I'd carry this around, and it got so bad that my mom had to put a lock on the kitchen door because I'd go in every night after they fell asleep and steal these eggs. <laughs> and um, convinced everyone in school to do it too and to stick their hands in the oven with the eggs. I was very popular with all the parents. Um, but this egg thing is real. We have a photo of you in here. It's the first Look. argument I ever had with my parents. It's about the egg being in the family photograph because it was part of the family. Oh. Look, if you zoom in... <laughs> She's holding my an egg mom. in the family portrait. My mother worked so hard trying to get this bloody picture of all of us wearing white looking good. And this five-year-old with the egg, like, I just, every photograph. I kind of love it, though. Thank I you. I do. Well, your mum sent us some more photos of you. True story. Oh, and God. Look, look, this is you with some little chickens I've not even here. seen these. <laughs> look, I this love is you. Them. And look, I really love... Oh, God. It goes God. even further. Here a you mom. are with some dogs. <laughs> Look. Look at this! I always thought this was a joke on talk shows when they said they hadn't seen them. I've really not seen no, them. No, I know you haven't. Your mum sent us these. They're so beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> and look, Ben Schwartz, not to be left out, you had a love for animals growing up. Here's I... a young Ben Schwartz. Who are you with right here? That, that, that's a llama at the Bronx Zoo, because for one of the summers, when I, I grew up in the North Bronx, for one of the summers, I uh, did like a camp in the Bronx Zoo, so I got to work at the petting zoo. That's awesome. It was, I've never had so much power in my life. <laughs> it's like I could feed anything. I'd be like, what's going on, Llama? Ram, how are you? And that's like that little kid. And by the way, I'm wearing a hat that says Tommy Boy, and I thought it was for uh, the movie Tommy Boy with Chris Farley, but it was like an amazing rap out, like a uh, label that I didn't know about yet. Uh, but I was like, yeah, you guys know Tommy Boy? And they're like, yeah, how do you know Tommy Boy? <laughs> yeah. Now, Anna, we have to congratulate you. you on your brilliant new movie. I'm so excited for this. Last night in Soho. I'm going to see it tomorrow night. And I'm so excited to watch it. Oh, I was good. in it the trailer, and I know the film is shrouded in secrecy. Ben, I think you're seeing it tonight. I am, but why don't we watch it right now? Let's roll it! <laughs> can we do that or no? What can you tell us about the film? Oh, uh, what can I tell you about the film? Oh, gosh. Um, OK, what I can tell you about the film, which is nothing, is essentially that when we were in our first week of filming, we had a journalist there. And when you're making a movie, you have the movie that you read on the script, the movie that you actually shoot, and then the movie that comes out in the edit, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you never really know what it's going to be. And the journalist asked me to describe what the film was, and I was exhausted, and I just said, a very well-directed acid trip. And I stand by it. Yeah. Oh, Having like seen it. the film, I stand by it. I think that's what it is. It is stylish, it is dark, it has a great soundtrack, it's really good fun, and it is trippy.